This is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Galaxy Note 8. This will be a very basic video, just walking you through the steps to get from here to the home screen and the best practices on how to do it. If you want a more advanced video, make sure to check out our how to speed up your Galaxy Note 8 and how to save battery life on it. Or just check that video out after this one. So first and foremost, you wanna select your language and the most important thing about doing this when you get your smartphone is setting it up over Wi-Fi. Why? Well, because we're gonna be transferring over a lot of old content and you wanna make sure that you're able to download all your new apps from your old device and the best way to do that is going to be with your Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna set that up right now and connect to my Wi-Fi. And now it's going to connect, let me see here. And now the next step is agreeing to all the terms and conditions so you can move on. And then it's gonna check for any updates. Now I don't have a SIM card in there so I won't find the updates. You need to have your SIM card in there in order to get over the air updates. Now that being said, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is set up a Gmail account. Don't have one? Well, then go to more options and create one. You need a Gmail account in order to download any app on your phone, as well as just to buy um, anything you might want to in the future. And it's also how all these services work, whether it be through your navigation system, whether it be through your music system, whether it be through your emails, you need a Gmail or a Google account. So that's what I'm gonna sign into right now. And then of course you're gonna put in your password. And then you hit I agree and it's gonna get all your account info. This can take up, depending on how long, uh, on how many phones you've recently gotten, which I don't think you guys have gotten as many phones as me. If you have, well, kudos. Uh, but I have a couple, so I'm going to back up from my last phone, which was from the S8 Plus. All right, guys, so after it asked me, do I want to come from another device? It kind of froze, actually. This was live, so uh, I did stop it, and I'm just going to hit do not restore. So if you happen to restore from a device and it, you get a black screen, then you might wanna just skip over it and do not restore uh, from your old device so you get to the next step. And this went right away instead of being frozen uh, twice actually. So I like you to know what I experienced so you don't have to. And this is where you can set up multiple things. Uh, fingerprint scanner, which is on the back right over here, or the iris scanner are the most secure forms of securing your phone. Uh, face recognition is not secure um, as regular unlocking, so just know that your face uh, security is not as secure. Uh, I'm going to skip this for now, but uh, of course it's always recommended that you secure your smart device. Now we're going to go to the next part. And this is where you meet your Google Assistant. Uh, I am curious that this starts with it uh, for the international version. So I'm gonna hit okay, it'll ask me for my email and if I agree to this and yes, and now it's updating and now it's adding the final touches. Now it's going to ask you from this point to sign into your Samsung account. Now people will say, why do I wanna get a Samsung account? Well, there's multiple reasons. Some of you you see here, like the Samsung Cloud account, this backs up uh, certain things on your device that your Google account doesn't. Uh, such as things like your settings and uh, things of that nature. It does have Bigsby, so if you do want to use this, since it is a permanent button on your phone, you might want to put it on there. I, for one, love Samsung Health uh, really a lot. Profile sharing, it shares whatever picture you select with everyone else, so when you call someone else on the Samsung device, you decide what picture shows up, so I like that. But See, actually, the main reason you want to use the Samsung account is not here. And that's something called link sharing, which we're gonna do another video on, but it is, allows you to share up to 
two gig files via text message. You can only do that with a Samsung account. So I'm going to sign into mine. And again, if you don't have one, well, just create one because you can text message over two gigs if you do sign up for a Samsung account. So that's really nice. And if you're wondering, well, to who, it doesn't matter. You can send up to two gig files regardless of who it is, if it's an iPhone, if it's anything else uh, for it, you have that ability to do that. And then it's gonna ask you to take a picture. I'm not gonna do that right now. And finally, we get to the Samsung Smart Switch. So you can restore it through Samsung Cloud or you can connect directly. I recommend doing this part now before you get to the main screen because if you get to the main screen and then do this later, it will take one to three times as long. So a lot longer uh, in comparison. So I would just recommend doing it now. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna transfer over from my S8 because we are at the end of this part. And as soon as the smart switch would be finished, then you would get your carrier stuff if you didn't have an unlocked phone. And from there, all your phone would be set up. All right guys, hopefully you did like this video. I'm gonna start this one now. If you want to know the exact details on transferring over from an old device, make sure to check out how to transfer over from your old Android device to your Note 8. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.